guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am gonna be showing you my top five lip products of the entire year. So these are the five lip products, so lipsticks, glosses, lip pencils, the top five that I used and loved the absolute most for the entire year. These are my most reached for, these are the ones that stayed in my handbag because I loved them so much the longest lasting, the most comfortable on my lips. And we also have a mixture of higher end and drugstore affordable options. I cannot wait to show you guys these, but if you are new here and you've not seen the other videos in my yearly beauty favorites series, I will link the playlist down below. Basically, I break all of the videos up into categories so that you can pick and choose which ones you want to watch. Say, for example, you might want, you know, top five foundations, but you might not be interested in top five primers. So you can just pick and choose which ones you want to watch. So without me further rambling on, like I always do, let's jump into the top five lip products of 2021. Now I gotta say, you guys, we are keeping it to top five. I have been absolutely ruthless. And this was not that easy because let me tell you, there's a lot of lip products that I love. And when I am talking about like, these are the shades that I also wore the most, but these formulas really apply to any shade in the range. Uh, for a lot of these products, I have every shade that they have available and I love them all. But these are the ones that I absolutely wore the most. And you guys know me, well, you should know me by now, Pinky Nudes. <laughs> I live in pinky nude lipsticks. I very rarely venture out of that. Sometimes I'll do a little bit cooler. Sometimes I'll do a little bit warmer. Sometimes I'll do a red. But for me, pinky nudes are where it's at. So first up for lip pencil. And this one's actually a little bit sneaky because this is a hybrid. This is a cross between a lip pencil and a lipstick. And honestly... I cannot recommend these anymore, you guys. So these are the Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayons. Truly one of the most magical products that you can find for your lips. So like I said, they are a hybrid. They're a little wind up formula. They're a cross between a lip liner and a lipstick. So you can kind of use this to do absolutely everything. Now, the thing that a lot of people don't know, because it is a chunky pencil, can you see that there? She's a chunky pencil. Uh, because it is a chunky pencil, a lot of people like after the first use think, oh, I'm never gonna be able to line my lips with that again. But you guys, there's a sharpener. So if you want to get a really, really fine pointed precision tip on it again, to be able to line your lips, you absolutely can. You just sort of roll it up, insert it in there, um, twist it around a couple of times and she will come out sharp again. But just, oh, the formula of these, so creamy, so long lasting, so comfortable on the lips, so foolproof. They don't crack or bleed or flake. They don't cause my lips to feel dry or uncomfortable. They are phenomenal. Now this shade here, I absolutely adore. This is Lead the Way, which, <laughs> are we surprised? Is a pinky nude. They're just perfection. They're so creamy and you can even like just quickly like touch up on the go without even needing a mirror with these. They last all day. Um, I can even like eat with them on and they stay in place. I adore these. They do come in lots of different colors. Lead the Way is my favorite, but this formula as a whole, you cannot go past it. And then for liquid lipsticks this year, and you guys know I've not been the biggest fan of liquid lipsticks. I reckon for about the past two years, I just, no, I don't know. I've been into glosses. I've been into tinted lip balms. I've been into like more sheer kind of lip colors. Um, but as far as liquid lipsticks for the past 12 months, um, my most loved and most used was definitely the new NYX Lip Lingerie XXL. So they completely reworked their original lip lingerie formula. This one is more flexible. It is more lightweight. It's sort of like a whipped, uh, it feels kind of moussey when it's on and it doesn't dry down to like that same intense kind of like budge proof finish that the original lip lingeries did. Like they were gorgeous colors, like absolutely loved the colors, but the formula was quite drying on the lips. Like this one is just beautiful. They feel so soft, they feel so plush. And the applicator that comes on the end of these is just gorgeous as well. Very, very, very easy to get like a perfect line around the edge and just a really long lasting but still comfortable formula. I love this and I really adore the shade range too. Actually, let me know guys, would you be interested in seeing like a swatch video of all of the shades of these? Let me know in the comments down below because I actually have them all and I'll be more than happy to do it. Such a beautiful formula, super affordable, really long lasting. Oh, I forgot to say what shade. This is the shade Undressed, but again, this collection, 
nudes, pinks, reds, plums. Like you'll, there's an option for everyone in this collection. You'll definitely find a shade that you love. Um, but for me, you guys know me. It's the pinky nudes. <laughs> All right, for bullet lipsticks, my absolute most used and loved bullet lipstick for the entire year is this one from Pat McGrath. This is Pat McGrath Divine Rose. Honestly, probably 80% of the videos that went up on my channel in the past year I was wearing this and I love the formula. Again, I don't think anybody is surprised at this point. This is a pinky nude color and it's just like the perfect balance. Actually is a very, very similar in color to that Maybelline one at the top. And it's just the most beautiful, creamy, pigmented formula. It's so comfortable on the lips. It doesn't feather, it doesn't feel dry. It lasts really, really well. I don't feel like I'm wearing a lipstick. Like it literally feels like a lip balm. The packaging is beautiful. The formula is beautiful. The color is beautiful. Like Pat McGrath lipsticks are absolutely stunning. I have many, I mean, I'm lucky enough to have many of them in my collection and I adore them. Like their orangey reds, oh, are just something to behold. Like if you are after somebody who does a particularly good job of lipstick formulas, Pat McGrath is incredible. And just the perfect, like if you're after like the perfect pinky nude for your wedding, Divine Rose. She truly is divine. All right, next up for lip gloss, and I don't think anybody is gonna be surprised at my choice for lip gloss. Fenty Beauty, they just, they knock everybody else out. KO, like completely. So this is the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm. This particular shade here is Fussy, which I do think easily is my most used, but I do also love the original, like, I think it was like the Universal shade that they came out with first. This is just the nicest lip gloss, the longest lasting. This actually feels almost like a lip treatment, but it lasts like a gloss. Um, it's not too sticky. It's not not sticky enough. So you can eat with it on. You can, you know, apply it in the morning and not have to worry about it just like melting off and disappearing during the day. The shade range is beautiful. They smell so good, you guys. It's almost like a, I want to say like fruity, like watermelon -y or something. Um, really, really amazing. It's a nice big doe foot applicator as well. They're tinted. They give like the perfect amount of tint of color to the lips um, without being like streaky or stringy or they're just truly Fenty Beauty gloss bombs. They can do no wrong. They can do no wrong. I love them. They also came out with the gloss bomb creams and I just... Honestly, I've used them so much as well. Another gorgeous product. So the Gloss Bomb creams are like a little bit more pigmented than the original Gloss Bombs, but both are stunning. Like I don't think there could be a human out there disappointed with this lip gloss. Let me know, actually curious, cause I'm like ride or die for these and I have been since they first came out. But do you hate these? If you do, we need to talk. I, I need to know why. I need to speak with you. <laughs> and then last but not least, the fifth lip product that I used the absolute most this year is this one by Dior, and this is the Lip Glow Oil. Now, I'm not 100% sure if these necessarily came out this year or the year before. I feel like time is really confusing at the minute, like all the days are blended into one, but this, you guys, oh, phenomenal. So this is the shade Rose Wood. This one does come in different colors as well. And this is a lip oil that is also infused with like a hint of color. I wonder if I swatch it up the top here, if you'll be able to see it. Yeah, probably not. Hang on. Let me layer her on. Yeah, I don't think you're really going to be able to see it because it really is the sheerest, sheerest hint of color. But this is a lip oil, so it is incredibly nourishing, incredibly moisturizing. It feels like a lip treatment, but it adds the most beautiful hint of color to the lips without being too over the top. This is the one that I reach for when I have no makeup on at all, but I just want to add a little bit of color to my lips so that I look a little bit more awake or hydrated or like I've eaten lots of fruit and veg. <laughs> just adds like the perfect amount of color. And because it is a lip oil, super, super hydrating. I do get quite dry chapped lips. Uh, very annoying. Like there's something about having dry lips that I just detest nine times out of ten I've usually always got something on my lips um so if I'm you know having one of those moments when I'm like oh my lips are sore they're chapped they're not feeling great but I still want to look you know like I'm wearing like a lip product I've got a bit of color and a bit of shine to my lips um the Dior one absolutely was my go-to it's gorgeous and it also has like this beautiful like minty mentholy kind of a scent and feel so if you've been out in the sun or you've been in the wind and you're really just wanting 
you know, TLC for your lips. Um, it also has a very, very, very subtle, like burny, cold feeling on the lips. It's just amazing. Packaging is beautiful. Everything about this product is beautiful. I love it. And there you go, guys. Those are my top five most loved and most used lip products for 2021 for the entire year. Uh, let me know. Have you tried these? Do you love them? Did you hate them? Um, and what were your favorite lip products for the year? I would love to know. And everybody else wants to know as well. Give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. I will link the playlist to all of the other beauty favorite videos, like the whole series are in the description bar as well. Um, yeah, and I just hope you're having an amazing day. I hope you're loving life. I hope things are happening. I hope things are going well for you. And I will catch you all in my next video.